Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley, and in this video, you will learn how to create a pop-up shop flyer using this logo. Now you're probably wondering, well, I wanna learn how to create that logo. Well, lucky you, I actually have a video for that and I will link it somewhere on the screen and also at the end. But in this one, you will learn how to create a pop-up shop flyer. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Without further ado, let's jump right in. If you're looking for any of the assets I used in this tutorial, make sure you check the description box below. You should create a document that is 11 by 17. I will be using RGB in 300 resolution. Let's add a gradient fill layer. For the first color, let's use 01246D. And now for the second color, we will use 7530E3. And make sure you change this opacity to 100%. Now let's open up the wrinkled full layer. Go ahead and rename it. Right click, convert to smart object and drag it over into our document. Here I am just rotating it and change this layer to pin light with an opacity of 10%. Now we're going to open up Illustrator and we're going to take the logo that we created in our previous video and we're going to duplicate it. And the color I'm using is D1, D3, D4. Now let's add 3D and materials. Make sure extrude is selected and the bevel is round. And also change the rotation to front. Now for the second layer, we're gonna change this to extrude as well. The bevel will be round, but then we'll change the perspective to 160 degrees. And make sure the rotation is set to front. Now we're gonna copy and paste each one of these layers over into Photoshop. So Take the first one and paste it as a smart object. And here I'm just sizing it down to 90% and name this layer bottom. And then take the second layer, copy it and paste it. And also resize it so that it fits on top of the bottom layer. and name this layer top. Now we're gonna start with the bottom layer and add some layer styles. Let's start with bevel and emboss. Change the size to 29. Change the contour to the second one in the first row. Change the color here to B24C. 9D and make sure it's on color dodge. And then for the shadow mode, we're gonna change the opacity to zero. Now let's add an inner shadow. Change this layer to color burn. And the color we will be using is 440289. Change the opacity to 94%. And the distance should be 13. The choke should be zero and the size should be 75. Now go over to inner glow. Change this layer to color dodge. The opacity should be 60% and the color should be 00A7FE. And change it to center. 
choke should be zero and the size should be 46. Change the contour to the second one in the first row. Now let's add a gradient overlay. Change the blend mode to lighten. And for the first color, it will be E777AE. And for the second color, which we will place in the middle, should be 5E5DA9. And for the third color, use 74CAF2. And make sure the gradient is set to reverse. Now let's add an outer glow. Change the blend mode to vivid light with an opacity of 47%. The color should be 8DD1C7. The size should be 27. And now click OK. Now we're going to turn on the top layer and we're going to add some layer styles. Let's start with the stroke. Change this layer to overlay and the opacity to 49%. Change the color to 6FF4EC. Now let's create an inner shadow. Change this layer to color burn. And the color should be FF0289. Change the opacity to 94 and everything should be left as is. Now let's create an inner glow. Change the source to edge and the size should be seven. And then select the first one in the first row. And then everything else should be left as is. Now let's create a gradient overlay. Change this layer to normal. And the gradient for the very first color stop should be 63A3FF. And for the second color, it should be B6DCFF. And for the last color, it should be 72BEFF. and make sure reverse is unchecked. Now we're gonna type the word pop-up shop. Use the size 329 and the letting should be 422 and the tracking should be negative 30. The color we will be using is 014584. Change the font to Kenyan Coffee Bold and set it to Fake Italics. Now here I'm going to set this layer to Color Burn 
and set the opacity to 60%. Now we're gonna open the foreground shoe image. Rename your layer. And go to select subject. Now here I'm gonna use the pen tool and select any areas that wasn't selected. and create a mask from it. Right click, convert to smart object and drag the image over into our document. We will place this shoe in the foreground. Resize it so that it just slightly overlaps our sneaker logo. Now let's apply a gradient overlay and set this layer to Linear burn. We will use the same colors that we used previously. And now go to Filter Blur Gaussian Blur and set the radius to 36 pixels. Now we're going to open up the background shoe and rename it and go to select subject. And I'm going to do like I did previously and deselect the areas that was included. Now I'm going to right click, convert it to a smart object as well. But on this one, I am going to flip it horizontal. And I'm going to place this one in the background. Resize it by going to Edit Free Transform or Command T if you're using a Mac. Now select your shoe layer and right click Copy Layer Style. Select your background shoe and right click paste layer style. Now here we're going to add a drop shadow. Change the color to 181718 and the opacity will be 21% and the distance will be 1098 and change the size to 76. And now we're going to add the content for our pop-up shop flyer. Here I am typing out Laces Boutique Presents and I'm using Poppins Black Italic 21 point font. I'm removing the fake italics and I'm changing the color to 3CFCFE. Now I'm going to add the date of the event and I will use Kenyan coffee, a 56 point font, and I am going to change the color to F-A-A-E-F-2 and I'm going to change the tracking to negative 30. Now here I am going to type the time for the event using Poppins black italic. 21 point font and the color set to the blue that we used previously for the Laces Boutique Presents. Next I'm going to add the description of the event and I'm going to use Poppins Regular 
with a 15 point font. And then lastly, well not lastly, I will now add the location of the event. Using Poppins Black Italic, 21 points, and I will use the pink color in all caps. And now lastly, I will add the web address. Now I'm going to open up the sticker file and rename my layer and go to select subject and create a mask from it and right click convert to smart object and I will bring it into my document and I'm going to place this behind the background shoe and rotate this sticker just slightly. Now here I'm going to add a drop shadow. I will change my distance to zero and my size to 43. And now I'm going to find the wrinkled foil layer and duplicate it. Here I'm going to bring it so that it's on top of my sticker and right click create clipping mask. Now I am just adjusting it so that it's a bit smaller. And change this layer to color burn with an opacity of 80%. And now let's apply a Gaussian blur that's about 10 pixels. Now next I'm gonna add some promotional text over the sticker. And I'm going to change the size to 25 and the vertical scale to 120 and change the color to 53077E. and change this layer to color burn. And that is how you create a pop-up shop flyer. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.